In this video demonstration, we're going to take a look at how the PasteJet API provides a RESTful type of integration interface to open up PasteJet to allow any software cloud application to take advantage of the quoting, shipping, tracking, all the multi-carrier functionality that's available in PasteJet. So if you looked at other video demonstrations, you know that this is the PasteJet user interface. We're here on the main dashboard. And that primary, primarily the core set of functionality in PasteJet allows users to come in and interact with all of their different carriers in one place. So that's whether that's parcel, LTL, 3PLs. Uh, you can go in and run a freight quote, have it rate shop and select the lowest cost, in this case parcel. Uh, you can override and select an individual carrier and of course go ahead and process a shipment. So that's kind of the basic set of functionality, whether it's quoting or shipping, that you're doing with PasteJet. Well, with the PasteJet API, this allows any application to do all of those same kinds of things electronically. So it's a nice RESTful based interface with a set of endpoints that uh, programmers can use to interact with the system electronically. And as part of the tool set that's available here in PasteJet th that you can see, there's a set of online samples that let you run all of the endpoints uh, through the user interface as a way to test that out. So you can come in and see, for example, here on the shipments endpoint that I can uh, send shipments straight into PasteJet. Just click run it and you can see here it's adjusting the quote number as I send in several different shipments. So it's real fast and easy. You can see the JSON content that a programmer would set up to communicate shipment information or could be order information for quoting purposes. So you can see here like the origin and the destination information and a container and so forth just gets sent into PasteJet. And there are a number of different ways to use the endpoints to send information in and then either interactively or uh, through much higher speed scan and ship type workflows to use that. So for example, after we sent a shipment in here, we could actually go ahead and have our application pop up the user interface and then a user could come in and immediately rate shop, you know, or make adjustments to your shipment just like, uh, you know, any other use case that you see with PasteJet. Now, the other thing you could do, of course, is have your application send in a number of shipments repeatedly and then just directly have users sitting on the shipping workbench and you'll see those shipments flow in and they can just scan and ship and scan and ship and process shipments that way. Now, as you process shipments uh, through PasteJet, it, it's the same sort of functionality that's available to you, whether you're doing the rate shopping and shipping, you could use our packing, all those other features are available. Here, we're just gonna grab a shipment and process it for UPS. So you can do all of that, and then through the API, just like you sent shipment information to PasteJet, you can go ahead and, and pull that information out. So there's an endpoint called the confirms list, which allows your code to actually come in here, and here we're gonna just update the code to the code sample to show how to go get a list of transactions that are available uh, to get an update that may have been processed for shipment. So in your application, you might actually go then and get the actual shipment confirmation detail uh, and pull that back as part of processing and you can run the sample for that. So you can see here, this is a shipment with the tracking number and the carrier that was used and all of that. So across the various endpoints here, you can see there's all kinds of interaction use cases that are supported from quoting to shipping, uh, to rating for e-commerce websites. All of that is available through the API. The last quick demo I wanted to do here on this video is take a look at an auto ship use case. So one of the more popular use cases with PasteJet is let's say I have an application like a WMS application or uh, you know an ERP system that has to ha happens to have picking and packing as part of it. And you just wanna use PasteJet to access all the various LTL or parcel carriers through one connection. Uh, you may not need to use our rate shopping user interface or something like that. So we would call that an auto ship or an instant ship. We're just going to communicate all the information to us. You just want us to process the shipment and you can do that. So the way you do that is come into the shipments endpoint. If you're going to do that electronically and we will paste in a different uh, JSON set of detail here. And if you notice, this one is pretty much the same as the other one with the origin information and destination, the carrier setting, and a couple of packages in this case. But in this case, we also have identified an action called auto ship and a workstation. So that tells PasteJet what uh, workstation to send print entities to. So as you process shipments, if you're using our printing, you have a cloud printing solution that will just automatically print to whatever workstations are local in your operation. You can actually ask, access that information through the API as well 
to uh, to get the paperwork that we produce and pull that out and do something else with it if you wanted to do that. But if you're using our printing, the workstation identified here will tell us where to send it. But as you're sending these shipments in, they are automatically getting not only loaded by PaceJet, but processed and shipped. So if we go ahead and take a look in this case at the search shipments page, we can see there's a whole set of shipments here that have been processed based on that instant or auto ship workflow. Well, that's it. All we have time for on this quick demonstration, but as you can see, the PaceJet API lets any application or cloud system easily interact uh, with PaceJet to have access to all of the different shipping functionality uh, directly and electronically. It's very easy to use and it, it's uh, restful so that developers can use tools that they're very comfortable with.